Have you ever wondered why, even after over 50 years of landing on the moon, there are still unanswered questions about it? We'll go through what science knows so far, from the moon's creation theories, down to its potential for our world and humanity. We'll also take a journey with scientists and astronomers, and together we'll uncover the answers to the moon's hidden secrets. Over 4.5 billion years ago, our solar system was a chaotic place filled with dust, gas, and a whole lot of celestial debris. This was a time when planets were being born and Earth, still in its infancy, was getting bombarded by asteroids. But among these, one particular object was about to change everything. Enter Theia, a Mars-sized planetesimal hurtling toward Earth. Imagine the tension, the impending doom. This wasn't just a close encounter, it was a cosmic collision. If the giant impact hypothesis holds true, this collision was the moment the moon was formed. When Theia smashed into the early Earth, the impact was so massive that it sent chunks of our planet and Theia spiraling into space. The debris from this collision eventually coalesced due to gravity forming the moon as we know it today. Studies show that the Earth and the moon share very similar oxygen isotopic compositions. This suggests that the moon came from material that originated on Earth. Let's take a look at the moon's size. Our moon isn't just a satellite. It's the fifth largest moon in the solar system, and it's unusually big compared to Earth. This also hints that something extraordinary must have occurred during its formation, lending more credence to the giant impact hypothesis. But it's not only about how it formed. The moon also played a vital role in shaping Earth's environment. Did you know that without our moon, Earth's axial tilt would be unstable? This means we might not have those lovely seasons we enjoy today. The moon is more than just a pretty face in the night sky. It's a crucial player in our world's stability. However, not everything is as clear-cut as it seems. While the giant impact hypothesis is the leading theory, some scientists propose alternate ideas, the fission theory, suggesting the moon split off from a rapidly spinning Earth, or capture theory, where the moon was a wandering object caught by Earth's gravity. But for now, the giant impact hypothesis remains the most widely accepted explanation. Do you believe it too? In 1969, when Neil Armstrong took that historic step onto the lunar surface, Little did we know how much these mere chunks of rock and soil would reveal about our moon's past. Over the course of six Apollo missions, astronauts brought back a staggering 842 pounds of lunar material. It's like a treasure chest of secrets waiting to be opened. So, what's inside these moon rocks? Well, scientists have analyzed the mineral composition, and boy, have they found some interesting clues. Most of the rocks are composed of a variety of minerals, primarily basalt and anorthosite. Basalt, which is formed from volcanic activity, is indicative of the moon's fiery past. And anorthosite? That's the type of rock that makes up the bright highlands of the moon. These findings shed light on the moon's geological history and its volcanic activity billions of years ago. Now, Here's where it gets super interesting. The isotopic analysis of the lunar samples has revealed that the Moon and Earth share a considerable chemical similarity. What does this mean? Essentially, it supports the giant impact hypothesis that a Mars-sized body collided with Earth, giving birth to our Moon. But there's more. These samples have provided insights into the Moon's age. With radiometric dating techniques, Scientists estimate that some of these rocks are over 4 billion years old.
It's incredible to think that we hold pieces of the moon's history in our hands, an archive of the early solar system. But what about the moon's surface? The soil, or regolith, tells a story of its own. Analyzing the composition reveals the presence of tiny glass beads formed by meteor impacts. These beads can help us understand the frequency and intensity of impacts the moon has faced over millennia. Plus, they can inform how we might extract resources for future lunar exploration. These lunar samples aren't just about the past, they're a key to our future. As we prepare for future missions to the moon and beyond, understanding these samples becomes vital, especially for potential long-term habitation. Recent advancements in computer simulations are giving us even more insight into the giant impact hypothesis. Researchers are now able to create intricate models that replicate this impact. Imagine being able to dial up the what-ifs and watch the chaos unfold on a screen. These simulations are a game-changer in planetary science. They help scientists visualize the impact events with varying velocities and angles. Each simulation reveals how different factors could have altered the outcome, from the size of the impacting body to the temperature of early Earth's surface. In fact, just a few months ago, a team from the University of California published findings based on their simulations that might challenge long-held beliefs about the Moon's composition. Now let's mix in some real-world evidence. With the Apollo missions and recent lunar explorations by missions like China's Chang's E program, we're uncovering samples that totally shake up our understanding of the moon. In some samples, scientists have found water ice, a discovery that opens up doors for future lunar colonization. And every new piece of data collected feeds right back into those computer models, fine-tuning them and enhancing our understanding of the moon's geology and history. So, what does this mean for us? As we stand on the brink of a new era of space exploration, understanding the moon's origins can help us prepare for future manned missions. NASA's Artemis program aims to land the first woman and the next man on the lunar surface by the mid-2020. And studying our satellite means we're not just stepping on celestial ground. We're tapping into the history of our solar system. As we unravel the moon's origin, we're not just piecing together a cosmic journey. We're setting the stage for our next giant leap into the unknown and humankind's future. If you like this video, please like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to Why on YouTube.